Now, that doesn't mean that caffeine is always beneficial. And actually, there's one instance related to dopamine where caffeine can be particularly dangerous. And this relates to MDMA, so-called ecstasy. MDMA is under investigation in various clinical trials for its potential to treat trauma and depression. It's also, of course, a drug that's used recreationally. It's still illegal, at least in the United States. Whether or not MDMA is neurotoxic has been very controversial. Early on, it was thought that it is neurotoxic, that it can destroy serotonergic neurons. There were other papers that came out which argued that's not the case. And that's in particular because one of the early papers published in Science Magazine claiming that MDMA was neurotoxic. That paper was retracted. It turns out that that study had mistakenly used methamphetamine instead, and methamphetamine is known to be neurotoxic. I think most of the data point to the idea that MDMA might not be neurotoxic, but in any case, caffeine has been shown to increase the toxicity of MDMA receptors. And you might say, well, how could that be? Well, now you understand why that could be. Caffeine increases the density and efficacy of these dopamine receptors, the D2 and D3 receptors. MDMA is a potent drug for increasing concentrations of dopamine as well as serotonin and other neuromodulators. And it appears that caffeine ingestion by upregulating these receptors can lead to more toxicity of MDMA. So caffeine can be a beneficial substance in one context and actually can be a detrimental, if not dangerous substance in another context.